Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this 2023 Chevy Traverse LT Leather, and I'm going to explain why this is the best package to get on the new Traverse. First and foremost, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larich Miller Chevy here in Provo, Utah, for giving me some time with this Traverse. I'm going to include a link to their website in the description down below. You can check this one out. It is available for sale for the time being. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below as well. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have a naturally aspirated 3.6 liter V6 that goes through a 9 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 17 around town and then 25 on the highway with power outputs being 310 horsepower and then 266 pound feet of torque. Now, let's go to the front end of this Traverse, which I think looks so cool, especially with this red paint. So, you guys can see we've got some fun body lines happening there in the center of the hood, and then also off to the side. And then we've got this really cool daytime running light here at the top, and then you guys can see with the light down below. Notice with the chrome accenting all around that. And we have more chrome accenting for the grill with the traditional Chevy bow tie. And again, like I said, especially in this red color, I feel like this is like a classic Chevy combination. Like chrome with this red, I think. Yeah, it just looks cool. Coming on the side here, our tire and wheel setup is 255, 65, 18 in the front and in the rear as well. And then you guys can see with the design on the wheels, it actually looks pretty dang good for a you know more entry level package. Now, you guys can also see with the tires, there's quite a bit of sidewall, which actually will help out quite a bit with ride quality. Uh, sidewall kind of acts as like a second shock absorber. And here's a quick look at the front suspension. And then notice here for the fender flare, and then that continues all along the side. We have our Traverse logo here on the side, and then notice all the chrome accenting around the windows. And then we take a few steps back, here's your full side profile. Now here is the key fob for the Traverse. You guys can see we've got our unlock function, or lock function, or remote start, and then the opening for the hatch. Just press that a couple times, and this will pop right open. And then if we actually pop inside here, what you guys will notice is we have a little charging port right there, and then some storage space just underneath and yeah pretty decent for storage space behind the third row now uh, you actually have these straps right here that you can pull and then you basically can just push the seat forward for some more storage space but the second row is too far back for me to push the seat all the way down you know it ain't much but it's honest work um, other than that that is everything for the rest of the rear so when you're done just press that button right there and that will lower everything back down now finishing things up with the rest of the back, you can see we've got this little chrome strip here with the Chevy bow tie. And then we've got the signature Traverse taillights here with Traverse all-wheel drive down below and our LT badge here on the other side. Parking sensors here at the very bottom. And then you guys can see with the exhaust tips, actually has kind of like a sporty appearance. And there you go. Now here's the door panel in the rear. You guys can see the stitching here in the center and then down below and yeah, with the padding it actually looks pretty nice. And then here are the seats. This is the big thing about the LT leather packages. You get the leather interior, which definitely is you know easier to clean, especially since this isn't perforated. But yeah, it makes it look a whole lot better. And popping in <laughs> with these seats all the way back, there's so much room. Like this is just uh, crazy. And I think that the adjustment is, yeah, there on the side. Basically, so if I want to throw it forward. Anyways, we've got a storage pocket right there. We've got our climb control here for the third row right there. And, or sorry, for the second and third row, rather. And then, as for the third row, you can see we've got the same seats there in the back. And then i got a USB port right there. And then there is ventilation on the ceiling. Let's head to the front. Now here's the front door panel. You've got that same padding and stitching all over. And then we've got all of our window controls. Notice the front one is automatic. And then this is to adjust the mirrors. Here's a quick look at the mirrors themselves. And then this is the different settings for the hatch. And then again with the front seat, notice we've got that same leather trim and then power adjustments on the side. Pedal layout down below. And then light control right here. And then there's actually more padding there on the dash. Let's pop in. Now here is the steering wheel for the Traverse. Really nice leather trim all around. And then you can see the stitching there on the center portion. We do have radio controls there on the back. Controls for the center stack, voice command controls. We have our cruise control as well as our heated steering wheel button. Turn signal stock, windshield wiper stock, and there's the steering wheel. 
Now here's our gauge cluster, it's mostly analog. There is that screen there in the center which we can use to scroll through some different menus. Obviously this is in demo mode so you can't really see much, um, but you guys kind of get the general gist of it, like information, music, navigation, all that. We do have some different drive modes right now. We're in two wheel drive, uh, which is front wheel drive. And then we can switch from that into all wheel drive mode. And then we can switch from that over into our off road mode. And then finally, tow mode. And then we can just go back into two wheel drive mode if we want. Now here's the center infotainment screen. First off, if we pop it in traverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. And then you guys can see the trailer tow line as well. And resolution's actually pretty solid. Now, as for the rest of the screen, you guys can see we've got these buttons here at the bottom uh, that are kind of like shortcut buttons, obviously for the radio right there. And then that's just like your home screen button. But then there's another home screen button right there. So I guess we've kind of like doubled down on home screen buttons. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with this. And notice we can control the rear climate from here. But the cool thing about the traverse screen is that button right there. I was, I was trying to be dramatic and then just nothing happened. Let's you open up this like storage pocket that's uh, lined with felt. It's pretty cool. And then press it again and pops right down. Analog controls the climb system down below. So we do have a dual zone here for the front, heated seats for the front as well. And then our charging area here and then wireless phone charging pad. And then shifter here for the nine speed automatic. And you guys can see you've got your L here that we can pop it into. It's kind of like your manual mode. So it says L1 right there. And then we have a parking brake right here. That's for your auto stop start, your lane departure, and then the drive mode slash drive line select, I guess is what we'll call it. And then pretty good storage space here. Notice the nice padding on the top and then here on the dash as well. And the glove box, decent storage space. Oh, and then of course, we got the manual mirror dimmer. So just because of the lighting, you guys probably won't be able to see the window sticker very well, but you guys can see 23 LT leather. Um, as for the warranty information, there's a three year 36,000 mile bumper to bumper, five year 60,000 mile on the powertrain. Base MSRP is 42,440. After all options on this particular one, it's $44,980. Let's see how it drives. Let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's your visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors throughout the rest of the rear. And let's set off. So setting off here in the Traverse. Um, so I've actually already reviewed the High Country, I think for the 23 model year. And so it's pretty interesting to see this and kind of compare it mentally to the High Country because this is quite a bit more affordable compared to the high country. And like I said at the beginning of the video, I think this is gonna be the traverse for most people to go for because it has pretty much everything you could want. So first off, from a ride quality perspective, again, with all that sidewall on these tires, it rides really smooth. And I'm gonna put it into the all wheel drive mode so that we get a little bit better grip for our acceleration. We're getting lucky today, got a green light. And it's cold outside today, which is great for filming. I'm not being sarcastic. <laughs> yeah, pretty pretty quick. I'm gonna pop back into the two-wheel drive mode. Yeah, so really smooth. That's the big thing, is really smooth ride quality. And that's just goes to show you how much tires can help or hurt you. And so that yeah, picking a tire and wheel setup where you got a lot of sidewalls, definitely the route to go. Now I've already driven quite a few traverses, so it's not like I needed to get like a crazy long driving thing. Um, but yeah, let's kind of sum things up. So first off, these seats are just as comfortable as the high country seats. I feel like this looks just as nice on the outside as the high country. The high country does have some, you know, little bits that make it a little bit more snazzy, but this overall pretty good on the outside. Now it doesn't have as many features, but this has everything that you'd want from a feature perspective. You've got heated seats, you've got leather seats that are easy to clean, dual zone climate for the front, you've got a climate zone for the rear, you've got a nice infotainment system, you know, good camera view. Now it doesn't have the cool 360 camera system, but I would say that this is uh, more than enough from a camera perspective. Wireless phone charging pad. So like you get all of this value and it's mid forties rather than like over $50,000. And so, yeah, I think overall it's a really good value. And I think this is the Traverse sweet spot because it mixes affordability with features. Let me know what you guys think. And I hope that we have more cold days like this because I, <laughs> I love filming in the cold. It's so much better than the heat.